Good morning, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I hope your weekend is amazing so far. It's a beautiful day here in Colorado. So the question of the day. When you are still doing something that doesn't bring you joy, you find something that doesn't bring you joy, but you're still continuing in that process and that method and the mode. So the first thing I want to tell you is that synapses in the brain follow the path of least resistance, right, for effectiveness. So the way that you've trained your brain, your thought process, your behaviors, your feelings, all those things, it's a self resilient mechanism, right? It wants you to keep being productive. It wants you to do the things that you're familiar with. So if you're always strong, you're always bold, you're always courageous, and you're always like fearless, and you have those thoughts, you have those feelings, you have those emotions, when situations occur, you tend to portray that. If you're always living in fear, always in fear, anxiety, depression, low self-esteem, any situation occurs, your brain, your mechanism is going to tend to think that way. So first of all, believe in yourself, encourage yourself, trust yourself, love yourself, become fearless, believe in yourself. If you have to tell yourself that, do it. If you have to write it on your, your bathroom mirror or put stickies all in your car, in your office, wherever it is, but find those motivational quotes, those things that really truly motivate you and write them down. Okay. The second thing is stay as busy as you can. And once you Become in tune with your feelings, right? A lot of this has to deal with emotional intelligence and also being in tune with what's going on in your life. But once you begin to immediately realize that this activity or this person or this food, whatever it is, does not bring you joy, right? And I'm not saying, saying a state of bliss, but say it brings you happiness or discomfort. You just remove it out of your life. And I know it's tough if it's family or if it's friends. It's a habit, so try to stay as busy as you can. You know, when you are, I would say, maybe bored or you give yourself more time to be idle with your mind, a lot of these crazy thoughts and you're in your head too much. So just give yourself the opportunity to stay busy, to stay focused. And whatever it is, that item, I'm going to encourage you to journal it. Start today. Write down the things that really bring you joy. Write down the things that bring you fear, the things in your life that bring you discomfort. Whatever it is. And then you'll have that on that piece of paper. And when you're like, oh my gosh, this person doesn't bring me joy or this donut doesn't bring me joy. I don't, I don't know who would ever say that. But if you did say that, then you're not going to consume that donut. You're not going to be around that person. Once again, these hummingbirds are out. And I wish, you, I wish you could see it. It's like right there. But I know that you're probably not going to be able to see that beautiful hummingbird. But they're so cool. So that is the answer for the question of the day. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing day and I look forward to your responses. Feel free to reach out to me anytime. If I need to expand a little bit further, let me know. I'll do that as well. Have a beautiful, blessed, amazing weekend. Love you.